Number 10. The Yellow Submarine of Barbados. Barbados is famous for offering some of the world's best diving locations. Visitors could explore at least 17 wrecks in the crystal blue Caribbean Sea. Off the island's west coast, there's a yellow submarine that tends to take divers by surprise. It's located near the Pamir, a German-built cargo ship that sank during a hurricane in 1957. The Yellow Submarine reportedly belonged to a property tycoon who owned land in Barbados. According to the story, he always wanted a submarine of his own, so he went ahead and bought it without thinking about the price of maintaining it. When the costs of owning the vessel got out of control, the man decided that it wasn't such a fun idea after all. Eager to just get rid of it, he simply dumped it near the shore and forgot about it. Another legend claims that the man had ordered a customized submarine to show off to his friends when they visited him in Barbados, but it wasn't finished on time, so he had a replica made just to give them an idea of what the final product would look like. After his guests saw the replica, the eccentric businessman allegedly had it sunk to the seafloor near his yacht. It's hard to know which of these stories, if any, are true, because there's not much information available about the submarine or its owner including his name or when he tossed it into the sea. Number 9. Mystery Gulf Coast Shipwreck while conducting a seafloor survey in the Gulf of Mexico in 2011, workers from the Shell Oil Company noticed a blip on their sonar roughly 200 miles offshore. They alerted the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, which sent its own researchers to investigate the strange object using a remotely operated vehicle. It was the rotting hull of a copper-plated wooden ship that likely sailed sometime during the early to mid-19th century. The wreck sits 4,000 feet below the waves and is filled with muskets, cannons, glass bottles, eyeglasses, ceramic plates, a stove, and more. The stove is an especially rare artifact. It's one of just a handful of surviving examples ever found, according to maritime archaeologist Jack Arion from the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management. National Geographic reported that the ship could have been a pirate vessel, a passenger ship, or used for some other purpose. But for now, nobody knows of its identity or origins. Number 8. Gold of a Lost Empire between the 7th and 11th centuries, the powerful Srivijaya Empire controlled much of Asia's maritime trade. The civilization was headquartered on what is now the Indonesian island of Sumatra in the city of Palembang. It left behind little archaeological evidence, leaving modern experts with limited knowledge of what the Srivijaya Empire was like. No traces of the city's buildings have been found, perhaps because they were buried by a volcano or because they were made from wood and deteriorated. Much of what researchers know about Srivijaya comes from the eyewitness accounts of travelers who passed through. It was reportedly rich in gold and used its wealth to build advantageous relationships with China and other powerful societies. The empire also financed Buddhist monasteries and temples in China, Java, and India. No official archaeological excavations have been carried out in the area, but people began finding coins, jewelry, and other treasure along the Musi River in 2011, and the discoveries continue to this day. Late last year, divers found gold rings, beads, precious gems, a Buddha statue, and other objects that are thought to be from the Srivijaya Empire. British maritime archaeologist Sean Kingsley suspects that Srivijaya was a floating city made out of wood, which rotted after the city's abandonment and caused artifacts to sink to the bottom of the river. Indonesia imposed a moratorium on underwater archaeology back in 2010, but this isn't enough to stop people from conducting their own dives in search of valuable items, and those who find artifacts by chance are unlikely to report their discoveries. Unfortunately, this leaves experts empty-handed and unable to learn more about the mysterious civilization and its unexplained collapse. Number 7. An Invisible Island 
Google Earth and Google Maps have changed the way discoveries are made because they make the world so much accessible to ordinary people. Many internet users browse these programs in their spare time and have even made a hobby out of searching for strange and undiscovered structures. It's led to some fascinating finds, but it's also a popular way for overly imaginative conspiracy theorists to get carried away. Last year, the Chelanamkarshika Tourism Development Society noticed what looked like a bean-shaped island in the Arabian Sea near the southwest Indian city of Kochi. The organization posted a screenshot of the peculiar piece of land on Facebook, attracting the attention of social media users who are familiar with the area. There's no visible land at the site. According to Google Maps, the island could measure nearly 5 miles long and 2.2 miles wide, but it's undetectable to the naked eye. Officials from the Kerala University of Fisheries and Ocean Studies said that they plan to further investigate the strange sliver of land. It looks similar to numerous underwater islands that experts are familiar with, but without looking into the matter, they don't know what the formation is made of or how it was formed. What's the craziest thing you've seen on Google Earth? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Number 6. Ancient Offerings Located along the modern-day border between Bolivia and Peru, Lake Titicaca was one of the ancient Inca's most sacred sites. The once powerful civilization considered the lake to be their place of origin, and its significance increased dramatically during the 16th and 17th centuries. Many artifacts that have been found at the site speak to its importance. During an underwater survey a few years ago, archaeologists discovered a small box measuring just 14 by 10 by 6.5 inches. The container is made from a locally sourced volcanic stone called andesite. The artifact was retrieved from 18 feet below the water surface, where it had sat undisturbed for more than five centuries. It contained a llama figurine made from a rare and valuable coral shell, as well as a small rolled sheet of gold. Researchers believe that the items were immersed into the lake as part of a ritualistic offering to the Inca gods. The box is just one of the numerous discoveries at Lake Titicaca that were likely deposited as part of a spiritual ceremony. Over two dozen stone boxes have been recovered from another part of the lake, but the contents of only four were found intact. They contained offerings including figurines of male and female humans, as well as llamas made from precious metals and other valuable materials. Christopher Delier, who co-authored a study on the artifacts, told National Geographic that the offerings contained requests of varying amounts and contexts, including political and agricultural pleadings. He also said that the Inca, who lived along Lake Titicaca, were likely influenced by previous cultures such as the Tiwanaku, who inhabited the area between 200 BC and 1000 AD. But the exact meanings and dynamics behind the offerings are admittedly up for debate among experts who are still trying to interpret them. Number 5. Unidentified Jellyfish during a deep water dive off the coast of Newport, Rhode Island last year, scientists from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration spotted a blood-red jellyfish that they didn't recognize. Using a remotely operated vehicle, the team captured footage of the bizarre blob-like specimen nearly 2,300 feet beneath the water's surface. Researchers think that the creature belongs to the genus Peralia. The only other Peralia species that's known to exist is also found in deep waters throughout the world's oceans. Numerous other aquatic animals were observed during the dive, which was conducted as part of the NOAA's North Atlantic Stepping Stones expedition. The mission's goal was to document elusive deep-sea creatures that lurk at depths that we haven't yet thoroughly explored. Just days earlier, the team observed a yellow sea sponge and a pink sea star lounging side by side, roughly 6,184 feet underwater. After seeing a photo on Twitter, marine biologist Christopher Ma likened the pair to a real-life SpongeBob and Patrick. Number 4. The Holy Grail of Shipwrecks 
While exploring the waters off Bulgaria in 2018, scientists from the Black Sea Maritime Archaeology Project spotted a shockingly intact shipwreck. By then, the team had already seen at least 60 other sunken vessels, but this one stood out among the others because of how incredibly well-preserved it was. It sits over a mile below the surface in what's known as the anoxic layer of the sea, where there's less oxygen in the water. Physical and chemical decay happen much more slowly at extreme depths, which is why the ship is in such great condition despite being an estimated 2,400 years old. It's not the oldest submerged vessel in the region, but it's the only known ship of its age that contains a preserved mast, rowing benches, and other features that are not normally seen in wrecks from that time period. The ancient boat resembles the vessel seen in Greek artwork, offering a hint about its possible origins. A portion of the wreck was raised and radiocarbon dated to the 5th century BC, when Greek city-states and Mediterranean colonies frequently traded along the Black Sea coast. While little is known about the ship itself, its pristine state is giving experts an unprecedented glimpse back in time. Number 3. H.L. Hunley also known as the CSS Hunley, the HL Hunley was the first combat submarine to sink a warship. Built in Mobile, Alabama during the Civil War, it first carried Confederate Navy soldiers into battle in 1863. The vessel entered Charleston Harbor on a mission to destroy a Union blockade on the city, but something caused it to sink, killing five of the men aboard. The sub was launched again a few months later, but the entire eight-man crew died because someone left a valve open, causing the Hunley to sink. Once again, the Confederate Navy recovered the vessel and put it back into service. It was launched for a third time in early 1864, but vanished along with its crew after sinking the U.S. Navy ship USS Housatonic with a torpedo. The submarine remained missing until 1995, when a team of shipwreck hunters found it in Charleston Harbor right next to the Housatonic. Five years later, the Hunley was raised. Nobody knows what caused the vessel to sink. According to the nonprofit Friends of the Hunley, the crew may have ran out of oxygen and suffocated to death due to the tides. Another ship may have clipped the sub, it may have been destroyed by its own torpedo, or an enemy shooter may have somehow disabled the captain, causing the submarine to fill with water and drown the crew. But these are all guesses, and we'll probably never know exactly what doomed the Hunley. Number 2. Submarine Frozen in Time In late 2020, a salvage team from the New Jersey-based Atlantic Wreck Salvage Company claimed to have found a World War I-era submarine off the Maryland coast. They discovered the wreck in an upright position on the ocean floor between Cape May and Ocean City. Using advanced sonar technology, the team captured a detailed image of the sub, which enabled them to take accurate measurements and examine it for any identifying features. The vehicle in question is believed to be a decommissioned R-8 U.S. Navy submarine that was used in aerial bombardment tests in 1936. In other words, it was used for target practice. Four 100-pound bombs came close to the sub without hitting it and managed to sink it anyway. Speaking with the press of Atlantic City, salvage team member Joe Marzani pointed out that there are no tragedies attached to the submarine, since it was empty when it sank. Because the discovery happened late in the year, divers weren't immediately dispatched to the scene, but the crew was fairly certain that they had found an R-8, and to their credit, all signs point toward them being right. The team discovered the wreck as part of an ongoing quest to recover sunken torpedoes and submarines in the region. Number 1. Port of Amathus Built during the 3rd or 4th century BC, the port of Amathus was an artificial harbor near what is now the city of Limassol in southern Cyprus. Experts describe it as an impressive but short-lived large public port project of the Hellenistic period which may never have been completed. The site consists of three piers made from large carved rectangular stones which were built to protect ships from strong winds. Today, it sits 13 feet underwater and extends 328 feet from the shore. Sadly, it looks as though the ancient harbor was never actually used. 
By the 6th century AD, all of the city's residents had fled Amathus. Archaeologists think that the exodus may have been triggered by Arab raids, but they admittedly aren't sure. Experts first investigated the site during the 1980s. In 2005, an artificial reef was established among the ruins, and it has greatly damaged the structures. Officials want to turn the site into an underwater park, and it's fueling tensions among environmentalists, who are concerned about the proposed removal of a protected marine plant called Neptune grass and those who want to see the harbor preserved. Authorities have made it clear that they're pushing forward with the plans. They promised the public that they will protect both the Neptune grass, which is vital to aquatic ecosystems in the Mediterranean, and the submerged ruins. Thanks for watching. Have you ever discovered something mysterious underwater? Tell us about it in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye!